Cheers guys, welcome to Chef Hampshire, where today we're going to be making the espresso martini. It's traditionally created in London in the 80s, so it's a fairly short history as far as cocktails go. Supposedly it was created when a famous actor walked into a bar and asked the barman, I would like a drink that could fuck me up and wake me up. And that was the birth of the espresso martini. So it starts, it's a shaken cocktail, so you want to go with 60 ml or two shots of your coffee liqueur. So you can go with Tia Maria Kahlua, which is generally a bit sweeter, but more traditional. Or you can go with a Mr. Black, which is a very nice coffee liqueur as well. Then you want to also go with two shots, 60 ml of your absolute vodka. And then you want to go with two shots, 60 ml of espresso. And then you want to shake it over ice. You want to hold this one tight because due to the hot coffee, it will steam and can cause it to explode. So from the shaking, you end up with this nice foam on top. So going into a chilled glass, if you have a martini glass, you just want to pour it in. You can double strain this because sometimes the small ice chips that might have broken away can affect the foam. But luckily, for me, I still got that luscious foam on the top. So there you have the espresso martini. Let's see if it will fuck me up and wake me up. Definitely tastes good. One of my favorite cocktails, especially when I was working in a cocktail bar in London, this was definitely a fan favorite, and I can definitely tell why. So thanks for watching. Be sure to make this at home. It's definitely one of the best cocktails out there in my opinion. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you do want to recreate this recipe, please tag me on Instagram at chef underscore Hampshire and I'll upload some of them onto my story. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button below, subscribe and hit the bell. Peace.